man, so look. What's about to happen? I didn't take a lunch today, so I'm just about to get the hell out of here. Looks like we can start the vlog. I'm about to give me something to eat. And then we can just get it in from there. Alright, we back. So, I have to have a little meeting with some people. I'm about to get the fuck off work. So, I ain't taking lunch today. So, hopefully it's not raining outside. Then I can just leave. Go to my car. Pick up my daughter. I know, right? It's a big selfie stick. Big, goofy selfie stick. Alright. I don't know if it's raining or not. It is raining. It is raining. So, I'm going to put my camera up real quick. And when we get in the car, we can finish this vlog. Alright, so now that we're in the car, this is the issue that I face when I'm in the car. So, I be wanting to just have a camera rolling while I'm in the car. But I don't know where the hell I'm going to sit this damn thing. So I got to figure out how the hell I'm going to jimmy rig this damn thing. Where I can just set it down like that. And just keep it going. One option is I can jimmy rig it. Like right here. On this handle right here. <laughs> or we can just put it on Batman. And just have Batman just record me. So I... I that's that's the problem where I have when I be one uh car do some car blogs and stuff, just so I can have the camera rolling. Cause I be saying some interesting shit when I'm driving, man. I do, man. I really do. This is what we got to do today. I'm about to go eat first. I don't know what I want to eat. Let me cut this volume down, cause I ain't trying to get no world. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to take my ads and shit. I'm about to coordinate, see what I want to eat, and then I'm gonna pick up my daughter. And then when I pick up my daughter. Then I gotta go get pick, pick up my fiance, and then I can go home. I'm debating if I'm gonna go to Mid Masters today. I don't think I'm gonna do it today because I'm tired. I gotta edit some photos. I got so many videos that I need to do. I think I just might make it into all one video. This might be one big video about just my today at Michigan Masters. Pretty much just to start off, just to recap, even though I wasn't recording, I should have. I've like literally been dead ass tired. I only had three hours of sleep due to Michigan Masters. And like my knees still hurt, my feet hurt, cause I've been taking, you know, pictures all day today. I've been taking, you know, all, not today, but all day yesterday, helping out with the stream. It's a lot of work going into it, like trying to run, you know, the stream and stuff, trying to take pictures and then, you gotta do your own thing. And yesterday, if you guys saw the stream, I actually made top 16. So I, I was surprised I wasn't even gonna play. You notice I haven't been, really been posting anything Street Fighter related, like on my channel. By me making top 16, kinda gave me some hope a little bit. Make me wanna at least try to play a little more. I still have, this is how you know, look. I still have my settings from yesterday off the camera. For one, the one thing I've noticed is that by me taking photos and stuff and i feel when i see photographers get very upset there's one thing i've noticed is that photographers get very upset when there's not enough light in the room i had that issue at the venue where it was one part of the venue that was just completely dark so i was forced to shut my iso all the way to the max just so i can get the right photo i had to mess around with my aperture you know you know you know my f-stop at this just to try to get the best picture possible because it was just in the dark i'm just like oh my god now i see what photographers would be having to go through when they doing that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get these photos i'm gonna edit them the the best way i can and then i'm gonna put it on a photography site just so i can build my portfolio up you know what i'm saying and um we just leave it at that so let's go get something to eat and then um, I keep you guys updated. Uh, all right, let's mess with some light here. I thought that I was recording, but I wasn't earlier today, so I guess I gotta redo this again. But 
Anyway, today pretty much I wasn't able to get none of the footage of me going to go get my daughter or actually me going to go into my mom's house because it was raining pretty bad and I didn't want to mess up my camera. I ended up just chilling with my moms and stuff until I went to go get my fiance. Getting home and I pretty much didn't do anything. What I want to talk to you about today is pretty much Michigan Masters. Now what happened in Michigan Masters is a two day tournament. Now, I, I remember uh, talking about it on my other camera, my other video about you know the event and the event actually ran pretty well. Though it was some hiccups that happened, you know, at the tournament, stuff got delayed, but there are reasons why it got delayed. And that's all I can talk about right now. But other than that, it was a well-run event. I think we did a hell of a job, especially with the space that we had. It was some things that I felt that, um, that could have been worked on. I'm gonna talk with the, with the team and bring up my points of on things that we can work on to get better at because uh you know nothing's perfect but things can be tweaked to make it look better and all that and such another thing you know the, the tournament was running well it was a two-day tournament i ended up taking some photos of the tournament and i was also controlling the stream and i was helping out um Larry with the stream, the almighty FPZ. I was helping him with the stream and stuff. Man, me learning this photography stuff is no joke. I had to deal with a lot of lighting. You know, the, the lighting in certain areas of the venue were not good for my camera where I couldn't get any good lighting. So I had either had to open up my exposure to, you know, get better lighting. And when I did get the good lighting, it was good. And I was like, okay, cool. I thought I got some good shots. So right now I'm trying to learn um, Lightroom to mess with it. Right now I'm just gonna upload the photos as is. Hope everybody likes them. And then I'll just work with the photos that I felt that really needed to be tweaked. But other than that, I felt like that was just day one. I think I did like out of the photos that I took, I took like over like 1100 photos. Most of them were like triples and doubles and everything. But other than that, I just literally just selected like 220 photos out of the whole that day one and man I was tired man I don't even trip I'm tired like right now like I'm still tired like you can catch me yawning <sighs> you can catch me yawning and all that stuff you can tell just by looking at me that I'm still tired like my knees were hurting like my feet were hurting like the reason why my feet were hurting on day one is because I was wearing these shoes right here I was wearing these shoes, and these shoes are not comfortable for long, long standing and moving around. Even though we were on carpet, these were not the most comfortable shoe ever. You know, I'm a big fan of the Jordan brand, but it's just that certain shoes that Jordan make that is just not comfortable. Or I, or I have to get a better sole put in them. But I ended up wearing these on day two, and these did better. You know, after a while, these little LeBron's. These are comfortable because of the air bubble. You know, they keep that cushion, that friction, you know. But other than that, yeah. I ended up wearing these and they were good. So, I like the LeBron's. Overall, the tournament was great. Like I said, it was an amazing grand final. I ended up making top 16. I wasn't even gonna enter, man. Like, and to be honest, I was contemplating on entering because I was like, man, I don't wanna, I haven't been playing. I don't know how I'm gonna do. I don't wanna just waste money knowing that I was gonna get beat, you know? But I'm just like, all right. I, I like, I literally registered at like 5, 5.30 and I told the person, I told the TOs that was doing the practice. I was like, put me in, pay my fee. And then I, you know, I did good. I ended up getting top 16 for Michigan Masters. And I'm always, uh, I. I'm always a, a, a match away from top 16. Well, I'm always a match from top eight. But whenever I do get top 16, I'm always getting that one match away from top eight. I need to figure out how can I get over this slump? Like every little tournament, not little tournament, but you get what I mean. Every tournament that I've been to and I do advance and I don't do poorly, I end up either getting top 16 or I'll be one match away one match away from top 8. Even if I lose in top 16, I go to losers and then I make my way out 
and I almost, I almost make it out, but I think I, I psyched myself out, and I need to work on that. But I did, I did really good at Michigan Max for I haven't even played it. As you can see, I haven't even really uploaded any content on me playing the game. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't really been playing at all like that. And I did it most of I did I think my first match was with Guile. I ran Alex the whole time until I got to top 16 and I switched to Guile and I didn't feel right playing with Guile and then I got beat and then I it was over. But I'm not really upset about my performance. I mean, I was just surprised that I made top 16. I mean, uh, that match getting into top 16, I was nervous. Cause I'm like, this dude is playing with Balrog and Balrog got buttons. He's not weak, but I don't think he has the tools. He doesn't have the tools like a Darian or a Guile or a Balrog. In yeah. this kind of game. I, a, I can agree with that. In a game that's super offensive. This, I, this is by far the most offensive Street Fighter that, that we've had in a, in a while. Yeah, I, I would say so. And in a game like this, Alex, I think Alex does. He, does, he needs a couple more offensive tools. A couple uh, more. That could be real scary. <laughs> a couple more. <laughs> but yeah, I, I could see it. Okay, good check. Yeah, it was amazing. Like, I... <laughs> It was dope. If I had the footage, if I can get the footage, I will put it in this video so you can see the clip. If I can get the clip, I will put it in. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if I've seen Elbow once outside of the action. Uh, he okay. gets command grab right there. Oh, he went for it. Uh, hey, hey, bud. What's he going to do? Uh, oh, stop. We go. stop. We're like going that. wild. Oh, oh yeah. There we, there we go. Good adaptation. I like that. I like I like these stuff. Maybe it works out. I, I like these. A little wild desperation tactics right there at the end. It works out. Oh. He's doing the stomp again. On here, but other than that, man, it's pretty dope. Um, other than that, man, like I said, I got some other things I want to talk about, but I'm gonna say that for the next video that I'm gonna make. So, with that said, I'm just gonna enjoy the night. I'm gonna watch the NCAA uh, national championship. All right, so thanks for watching my video. Comment, rate, subscribe, like my video, share my video. Y'all stay up, stay safe. Peace.